So, hello. This is Cook Cat here, evidently, as my channel name would dictate. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how I did this effect today. I've had a lot of questions about that. So what we do is we start with one of these and we spray on to the Lego bricks like we are here, right? It gives us a nice effect and we do this just one or two bits each frame and it comes up really good. Just like a little... comes up really good. So this is what we see here. This is a quite a big close-up of it. I'm going to just zoom out and we'll see and just how wonderful that looks. It does look pretty remarkable. So as you can see, what we do is we go into 3D effects and hit film 2 ultimate. We open particle simulator. We ignore the noise my brother's making as he's leaving my office. And we grab rain. We put this above our, video, our image sequence. And then we have a play with all the settings. Now, I'm just going to let you watch what I do, but please do experiment because I don't want you to. I don't want people to be watching tutorials and becoming clones. I want them to learn how to make it. Okay? I sound like some evil genius. I don't want clones. I want you to be able to do it yourself. Yeah. Just take out a little evil bit. So, what we do is we line it up. I got this on minus 121, and it just looks nice like that because we want it to be parallel, um, not parallel, vertical to the ground. Okay, heading straight down at the ground. Very little bit, but we mainly want that. So then, if you're like me and you love Dutch angles, you want to make sure pointing the right way. We play the scale a bit because sometimes when you do have it heading down like that, like we have got it on a 90, 45 degree-ish angle, we want to make sure that the um, uh, sides still have rain in it. We then, I've added up, I've increased the particles per second, I've actually doubled that because I want more rain. Then you come down here, you have a look at the colour because it's actually a bit blue for me. I don't want it that blue. So I've gone and just whiten it a little bit, make it look a bit better, I reckon. We come down to mo movement, there we go, and we scale it down a little bit because the raindrops are trying to be big for my liking. And I'm probably talking too fast, but you're going to have to give up because, dude, this is a lightning tutorial. So now, with that, you can play with the different settings a bit. I, like, I actually up the scale there the scale variation so more variables in it because I like I like stuff because reasons so now we can play through it and check it out it looks it looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with that but I'm not done I am never done with movie effects yes and that was a half-hearted attempt to make a German accent and I quit halfway through quarter-hearted attempt so now, what we do now is we wait for the tutorial media to catch up. We open up the flame, we make it white, name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, as I'm sure you're aware. Um, you drop it down either above the rain or below, it doesn't really matter, but make sure it's above the other stuff. Drop the opacity right down so it's just faintly there. Really good effect. And the way, I, the reason I do it like this, is because then with each subsequent layer you add, you can add another one. And just sort of have them as the spaces in the spaces between all your layers. That way, if you've got like buildings in the foreground, some in the background, and in the sky, as you add them, it slowly makes it all more rain-like, like it's undergoing some rain stuff. Now, we save it. Evidently, and I'm just going to go and open up the other project I've made, the actual one this is all based off that you asked the questions about. So now, what we do, this here, I'm not going to tell you how to do that. 
right? Because this, as you see down here, is there's a two-part tutorial of this done by FX Home. They did this, they're excellent. I'm gonna point you in that direction with the link there that you just missed. So now we come back over here, we add it in. You're going to want to export all your different layers. Like this is actually a composite of four layers, just the video here. So I've actually see here, I've exported it already. So then you can add it and it'll add the effect, it all works nicely. We've got we add the rain, all the different layers we have, and just build it up. You've got the white layer, you've got everything, and you come up with this beautiful effect, okay? So that is how you do it. Now I'm going to give you a link to the actual video that I'm now talking over. Because I can. Because reasons. What flavor? Cat flavor.